Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Totally Explored. This is Hari Kishan. A few days back, I have given you a video uh, in which uh, you can successfully uh, install this uh, TP-Link Archer T4U uh, Wi-Fi USB adapter, uh, which is a high speed, high band, high uh, gain uh, Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, for your uh, Ubuntu uh, machines so I hope you would have uh, seen that and whoever is using Ubuntu would have you know uh, successfully installed that if not please leave uh, the comments in that uh, video particularly uh, for those of you who doesn't know about that video you can go to my uh, link over here which I'm going to give in the top right section of my video uh, you can access that video and then go and install if you are using Ubuntu and for those of you who are using Windows, uh, today I'm going to install this on Windows 10 machine and then show you the installation steps and how successfully it gets installed uh, on the Windows 10 machine. So uh, for this purpose, I'm going to use uh, the Windows uh, CD or the DVD, whatever the uh, vendor, TP-Link vendor has provided in the uh, package in that particular package this guys uh, this is the one which I'm talking about so this is the package and this is the uh, Wi-Fi adapter itself so today uh, I'm going to show you uh, the installation steps on Windows for this particular device this is this the model of this is uh, TP-Link Archer T4U uh, AC 1300 this is the exact model so let me uh, first connect this to uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, port, uh, which is just, uh, this is how it open, guys. So these are the dual band antennas, which are high, uh, this thing, high, uh, uh, highly capable of pulling your uh, beautiful Wi-Fi signals. And so this I'm going to connect to uh, my USB cable. And uh, there is a CD which is given in the package which I said earlier. So that CD I have already inserted in my uh, CD drive of the PC. So now let me get on to that. Uh, this PC. And yes guys, as you can see, uh, these are all the hard disk volumes. And uh, this is the CD. So let me right click on this. And then say install or run a program from your media. So Windows has cleverly already detected uh, that there is some installation uh, files inside that DVD. So it already asked me to uh, install. That is the reason why it gave me the option. So uh, this is what you have to uh, give access to. You have to say yes or else it wouldn't install. Now let's get onto that. Yes, guys, this is the model for us, Archer T4U. This is what we are going to uh, install now. So uh, just click on this. I clicked on this and uh, let's wait for a few seconds for the actual program to run. And guys, as you can uh, see, uh, this link I'm not particularly sure if you guys can see this or not this is uh, this green light and the device is blinking okay excuse me guys got a call please excuse me for this let me put this in a uh, D and D mode yes and let me put my mobile back again yeah guys, as you can see, Archer T4U drivers are getting installed for Windows from the uh, DVD which the vendor has given. So now it has come up to 54%. Let us wait a little bit patiently so that it uh, properly installs the drivers for this. Without drivers, this is not just a plug and play device guys. Because this particular model is a very high gain model. So uh, this will not run without the proper installation of the driver so don't expect uh, any output as soon as you connect this 
So first things first, you have to install the drivers properly, either be it on Windows or on Ubuntu. So for the Ubuntu also, I have uh, uh, left the link on the top right section over here. So you can go there and uh, get that installed if you're using any Ubuntu machines. So this is the package, guys. Uh, I think this I've purchased for around 1800 Indian rupees. Uh, and uh, it is very beautifully working. I've also uh, given an unboxing video of this, which you can go here on the uh, top right section and click on that link. If you want to see the unboxing and the features, what features it has and uh, how about the design and build quality of that, all the things I have clearly mentioned there. Okay, so now it is 100% installed guys and it says driver is installed. Uh, now you can connect your computer to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, uh, let me see this now. Great, it says great your adapter supports WPS. So uh, with the WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup, you can connect effortlessly with push of a button. Yes, guys, as uh, I said, on the device, there is a small WPS button which is given. So if I just press on that once, it says it will directly connect. It will search my uh, Wi-Fi router and then it will automatically connect to that. Is that true? To use it, first install our mini WPS tool, which will help you along the way. Uh, yes, so there is some WPS tool which I need to install first. So it gets uh, installed in the default uh, location for Windows. I am not going to change it. Uh, let me say start. So I think it, it's a very small thing and it's getting installed uh, at a quicker speed. So it's already 40% over here. And let me see. Uh, before that, guys, let me go and uh, disconnect my Wi-Fi. Where is my Wi-Fi? Or where is my... Uh, what do you call? The... Network settings. So, network settings, maybe this one, Ethernet settings. Go to your uh, run uh, box and then uh, click on network settings or Ethernet settings. So, this particular thing opens up. And yes, guys, here you can see Ethernet is uh, connected. So, uh, hurry, act. I think this is my uh, Ethernet, which, yeah, it's, it's over here, guys. Yes. So before, before moving on to this and disconnecting my wired internet connection, uh, let me tell you, uh, this WPS tool which it was installing is installed now. To connect your Wi-Fi, press the WPS button on your router. Okay. Let me do that. Uh, let me press on this small WPS button and let me see whether it connects automatically. So, yes guys, it's already, uh, you know, uh, in the Wi-Fi mode. I'll just close this, close the installation for that. So it is, drivers are properly installed. This is how you have to install it. So two things you have to install. One is the Wi-Fi drivers for the T4U Archer itself. And the second one is the small WPS tool, which it said. So uh, now, as you can see, Hari Act 2 is the one which is connected over here at the mouse prompt. So now that is the wired connection. Now I'm going to uh, disable that. I'm going to disconnect that. Where is my uh, Hari Act 2 connected? So I say... Uh, okay, instead of disconnecting that, let me connect directly to the Wi-Fi which I require. So, as yes, guys, as I said, this is a dual band uh, Wi-Fi USB adapter which has both 2.4G and the 5G, 5 gigahertz networks. So, on 5 gigahertz, you will get up to 868 Mbps uh, speed, which is super fast, uh, and even it doesn't get uh, heated up uh, quickly. 
it's it's a very beautiful device and they have given proper uh, all the things i have explained uh, in my unboxing video please go there and check that out uh, let me click on this connect automatically uh, connect okay guys let me uh, key in my uh, password security password for my Wi-Fi and then I'm going to click next so with this it should automatically connect to my Wi-Fi yeah as you can see hurry act 5g is connected now so this is the one connected and there is uh, already the wired connection which is already connected so now I'm going to uh, go and uh, disable this just to show you the speeds guys speeds on this particular Wi-Fi uh, device so for that again I think I need to come back here uh, okay so where is the disable section for this configure firewall settings meter settings edit no, not all this I just want to simply disconnect it for some time Ethernet uh, Wow I don't see any option to disconnect over here okay so once you uh, disconnect this I'll be properly able to show you see uh, for uh, Wi-Fi it shows properly to disconnect but why not it shows uh, for this hurry act 2 it should show I guess but why is it not showing yeah maybe here I've come on to network status okay uh, this is the Ethernet 2 which is connected to private network properties of this again it has come to the same page so wherein I don't have any uh, options to disconnect it okay guys anyways so uh, this is how you uh, install it and this is how you make it up and connected and running properly okay so uh, just for uh, demonstration purpose let me try to uh, show you guys uh, if I can uh, check the Speed, especially on uh, this particular connection let me see uh, I'm using at 200 Mbps connection uh, over here uh, I reside in Bangalore so it is properly connected to my server and let me check my internet speed connection over here block yeah so I suppose as this is a wired internet connection this is pretty weird why am I not able to disconnect this wired connection okay anyways I'm not a big user of Windows I mostly use Ubuntu so let me see anyways guys uh, so this is on wired connection but uh, I tell you uh, on uh, this Wi-Fi adapter you will get up to 180 190 Mbps that's which is uh, really fast so that is how you will install this guys so uh, uh, please leave uh, a like subscribe and please share this to whoever is needed with all your friends and family and uh, guys don't forget please do subscribe and once one lucky subscriber will uh, get a thousand rupees uh, gift from me so uh, please do uh, do not forget to subscribe uh, to my channel uh, for more such technical uh, reviews videos hands-on unboxing things okay guys so please go ahead uh, subscribe to my uh, channel
थैंक यू बाय बाय हैव अ नाइस डे आई विल मीट यू इन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो